Today we are going to learn about veterinary pharmacovigilance, or simply put, pharmacovigilance in animals. This will give you an overview of the pharmacovigilance requirements for veterinary medicinal products. Before we learn about veterinary pharmacovigilance, here are a couple of important concepts that one needs to know. Veterinary medicines, also known as medicinal products for veterinary use, veterinary drugs or veterinary medicinal products, or simply termed VMPs, are substances or combinations of substances to treat, prevent or diagnose disease in animals. Medicated feed is a mixture of animal food and veterinary medicinal product produced under controlled conditions and has the purpose of treating or controlling disease in farmed animals, aquaculture species and pets. It requires a veterinary prescription and is one of the oral routes to administer veterinary medicines to animals. Depending on specific situation, this can be the most effective way to administer veterinary medicines to animals. It is a well-known fact that medicines cause adverse reactions in human beings. Let us not forget that animals are also living beings, and at times, the caretaker or owner may be more concerned about the health of their pets, than their fellow family members. Besides, we should also know that, animals also undergo treatment, they are given medicines, they undergo surgery and even undergo investigations. Moreover, animals also experience adverse reactions. That makes it necessary to have a system for regulating veterinary medicinal products. The concept of ICSR may or may not be relevant in case of veterinary pharmacovigilance, where one can consider grouped case reports when a particular set of species experiences the same event and probably at the same time. Let us try to learn this, with an example. Imagine seven Labrador retrievers being administered tramadol, for pain relief, on the same day. Next day, you receive a complaint that five of them, were unable to move. In this case, you can create a grouped case for five Labrador retrievers. One thing, we need to remember that, animals cannot talk. However, they can express their feelings. Based on the gestures, one would be able to identify the adverse events. Let us learn this with an example. Anaphylaxis can even occur in animals. The clinical signs may vary across different animal species, and these may include restlessness, breathlessness, excitement, convulsions, inability to move, or even collapse. Adverse drug reactions can even prove to be fatal in animals. The terms that are specific to fatality in animals include, death by euthanasia, increased culls, etc. The event coding is performed using the VEDRA dictionary, which is published by the European Medicines Agency, and is free to use. In the case of veterinary medicinal products, VMP, the preferred method of causality assessment is using the ABON system, where A stands for probable, B stands for possible, O stands for unclassifiable or insufficient data, O1 stands for inconclusive, N stands for unlikely. We will now learn about the reporting requirements, or regulatory expectations for veterinary medicinal products. We would specifically discuss about the requirements in the United States, and European Union. One needs to report domestic and foreign case reports to the FDA, using the safety reporting portal, or through the gateway. In the European Union, one can do it using the EV VET system, or through the gateway. The volume 9b is referred to, in the European Union. Besides, there are other expectations, like periodic reports, signal management, risk management, or even literature monitoring for the veterinary medicinal products. One also needs to execute safety data exchange agreements, in case of distribution by business partners. If we do that, then we even need to undertake risk assessments of business partners, or even audits. Regulatory authorities also undertake inspections of the license holders. 
Hence, one needs to ensure compliance at all times. Some requirements are specific to the European Union. The marketing authorization holder needs to maintain a detailed description of pharmacovigilance system for veterinary medicinal products. This needs to be regularly updated, and information needs to be current at all times. Every marketing authorization holder also needs to appoint a qualified person for pharmacovigilance, who necessarily resides in the European Union and is available 24 by 7. We have learned that animals too, experience adverse reactions. Overall pharmacovigilance requirements for VMPs are similar to that of human products. Regulatory agencies are equally particular for VMPs, like for human medicinal products. Lastly, a marketing authorization holder can even undergo inspection by veterinary pharmacovigilance inspectors. Overall, it is necessary to ensure pharmacovigilance compliance for veterinary medicinal products. Feel free to reach us, in case you have any questions, comments or suggestions. Also, please subscribe to our channels.